Well, is your closet in need of some TLC? <laughs> Jennifer Baptiste is a professional organizer with Ace of Space. She's sharing tips on how to tackle the closet to get it organized. There is nothing better than a feeling of having an organized closet. I love having an organized closet. But, you know, you get, it, it gets away long. from you, especially if you're busy with work and kids like that. So you're going to show us some things that don't cost a lot of money that are going to make a huge difference. Absolutely. All right, let's begin. All right, so let's talk about the hangers. In the front of here, you can see the rolling rack I have with 25 hangers and 25 velvet hangers. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. So space-wise in your closet, just by switching over to a slim hanger, you're going to pick up one-third of the hang rod bar that you're working off of. So you got to go and it looks and get, nicer. Where, where, and it looks nicer, of course. Where, where do you buy hangers? I, so Ikea I grabbed or? these. Well, no, I, I these see these at, kind at Marshalls. Yep, all at Marshalls time. and TJ Maxx. Um, but I get mine from Amazon. They also make a cascading version of these. So for people who have small closets, you can tier them. Um, How clever is we don't, that? I don't like to use it as a band-aid where you don't purge your closet and you just put everything on these hangers and right, you know, take up the space. Right, but still, once you're down, you've whittled it all down, yep. then you can start tearing. Absolutely. Well, let's talk about step one is purging. Absolutely. First okay, thing I so how do we do that? Because people, I hear all the time, oh, I've got stuff left over, I just yep. can't let go of it. So I'm a visual person. So some people can turn those hangers backwards in their closet. So you put the hanger facing the other way so that every time you wear something, you put the hanger back in the right way so you can see that way. Okay. I can't do that because of my OCD. So you can do I do one of two things. I can put, you can just put a post, uh, post it and punch a hole in it and put it on your hanger this way. And when you wear something, you just pull it off. So at the end of a season, you see you have all the pink post-its. That's all stuff you didn't wear. Isn't that clever? Um, yeah. That is so clever. I but love that. But if you just that. want to get it over with, I mean, yep. a lot of people are doing Marie Kondo. You, take, you, you should take everything out of the I, closet. I do not. You go start at one end of the closet, go to the other end of the closet, and just take it out, try it on. It's either keep or it's, it goes. It goes. That's it. Yep. And, and, and you hold it and say, what? Like, I do, does it fit? I don't, what if it doesn't I don't, fit? I don't, I don't believe it. I don't, I'm not attached to stuff. So for me, I don't have to be like, oh, if I try it on and I hate it in the mirror, I'm not going to like it anymore. Tomorrow it goes in my donate pile. Right. So if it doesn't fit and you think you're going to lose 20 pounds, yep. Right. If I'm it. 36 waist and I'm going down to, a, and I think I'm going to be a 32 and I got all my 32s, get rid of the 32s. Right. And when you do get down to that weight, you're not going to go through your closet and be like, oh, let's the, put on this whole dress I exactly. have. Exactly. Go out and Celebrate. buy new. Yep. Celebrate. Yeah. Celebrate. Buy new. All right. So let yep. go of the stuff that doesn't fit you anymore. More. Okay. Absolutely. Now, what's next? All right. So folding. Pretend these are drawers. Um, vertical folding, file folding is important because you can see what you have. So if you were to open this drawer and look at it, it's everything's flat and you can't really see what's in there. If you pulled open this drawer, you can see what logos or what shirts you have um, and take it out without really trashing your drawers. I did this for my kids and their dressers, and it lasted like two days. And really? then it, because they won't put it back that way. So I was like, guys, look, you don't have to. But yes, it's 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 so nice because you can see everything. Yep. But in my closet. Is that this actually stands up like this um, on a shelf? I have them so it doesn't fall over. Yeah, and, and as adults, are, we'll be good about putting. Yep, and these back. are from IKEA. These bins. I mean, they're like that zipper pack that zips on the bottom for really inexpensive. What's oh, the nice. pool noodle for? So the pool noodle. Everybody's got the boots that you try and stand in your closet and, and they the shoe get, rack and they fall this, over. These are how all my boots are, and they yep. look like they're falling over on the floor. So you can buy the uh, expensive shoe, you know, extender that will hold it up for you, or you can just buy a pool noodle at the end of the season, cut it to the size of your boots because they're all different, and put it in there. There, and Look there at you that. have it. Pool noodles. Again, that's so, so clever. Yep. Yeah. I have a toilet plunger in my boot. <laughs> <laughs> right <now. laughs> All right, so uh, the other thing that you say, we have to have some rules. Never, ever does anything go on the floor. Correct. Um, I call it the $20 bill rule. So if you found 20 bucks on the floor, you'd pick it up right away. Right. It comes from the retail in me. And so when you buy the clothes, you put so much time and thought into picking them out and the excitement of where you're going in them. To just throw them on the floor is kind of disrespecting the, how hard you work and the items that you purchased. So just by keeping things in a certain place or not putting it on the floor, it's going to keep a cleaner facade. Okay, so meaning that if you just know I can't put this on the floor, it has to go either in the hamper in, or take that moment and fold it and put it back yep. in the clean stuff right away. Absolutely. And one in, one out. One in, I live by that. So you go shopping, you buy something, one of the items, that you're, whatever you're buying, when you go home, something of that same item has to go. So a sweater, I buy one, an old sweater goes. Yes, yeah, you can get rid of a pair of socks just to cheat the system. Oh it's, you I have know. underwear from um, 1970. Well, I've heard it's like items. Uh, like that you, yeah, you buy a shirt, items. take a shirt out. Absolutely. Otherwise, you can kind of know. So this is a before picture of a closet. Yes, that is my one of my favorite closets. It's one of the first ones I did when I first started. Um, yep. 
and look at oh, it now. Look at that. And she had such she had very similar taste that I did. So everything I was looking at, I was like, oh, this is so cute. Oh, this is so cute. That one I just did recently, um, and I used the cube systems that I talked about the last time I was here. Look at and that. I didn't take anything out of there. We just distributed it and and made Wait, folded so space. So that's where the rack is, but instead you put cubes. I put cubes. So a set of four, a set of two, and created my own little fixturing. Like your own little a fancy closet, yeah, but you yeah. did it with cubes. Where do you get your cubes? I get mine at Target. Okay. Um, you cool. can get it in the store or you can have it shipped to you. Okay. Um, they usually have the best stock. Cool. Thank you so Thank much. You. Great. For more organizing tips or if you would like Jennifer to come and do it for you, she'll come organize your house and your closet. Organize a visit with Ace of Space by going to aceofspacect.com. Jennifer's also available on Instagram. Just search Ace of Space CT.